hello friends welcome back to my channel what's going on today i'm gonna show you um how i took some trades throughout the week okay so um this is actually sunday i'm gonna show you some of the trades i took almost all the trades i took throughout the week basically i didn't go with much and i had just this just this um just 630 bucks that's what i got okay nothing much okay i just traded um few trades okay you can see um just as it is we made some losses we made some profit as well you can see here we made some profit we also made some losses but the good thing is that in the end we are able to close in profit right that's the good thing so i'm going to show you even though um, i also had some trades that stayed overnight right so just I think two trades also that gave me this um this was that this is what they call um swap okay the swap fee this is the name of swap fee that's what they charge you for leaving your trade overnight so if you don't want to pay this make sure you close your trade before 11 for 11 um 59 pm all right okay so let me show you everything all right guys so um basically what i traded was step index this is one of my best best one of my best instruments i just love trading step index it's so nice i also trade on that side trade 75 i trade boom and crash i trade uh yeah yeah just um volatility 100 yeah i trade volatility 100 also so this so here are some of the trades i too can see both the losses and the wins okay so i'm going to show you this is simple price action guys this is simple price action i'm going to show you how i took this trade and the reason i lost those ones that i lost okay so let's just see basically um the first thing i did when i entered the market was to check the order flow when i talk about order flow and um when i talk about order flow i'm simply talking about the trend okay so what is the other flow that's where i ask myself when i enter the market and as you can see the other flow is bearish right so i'm looking more for trade uh, for sell trades okay i'm looking to go short okay now so um firstly this was our uh, on the 22nd i think so this was on the 22nd that's when i took this one okay this on the 22nd okay so let's see how i took this trade after i saw um the other flow the next thing i did was to um look out market structure okay so when i started looking at market structure first i stress in break of structure the downside okay so um i saw the break of structure the downside uh and then when i got here i saw that this structure was the last one that was just broken okay so i also saw an other block here all right got right trade it's a break and repair strategy that is my strategy so basically i want to see um price break a structure in direction of the order flow in this case price was breaking structure to the downside which is the direction of the other flow because this is a bearish order flow right so i want to see a break of structure to the direction of the order flow and once i get to that the next thing i want to see is I want to mark out the possible reversal levels sometimes most of the times actually i use the other block or the breaker block all right i have made some videos in this channel on how to spot out these other blocks what they are and how to trade them including breaker blocks i've made a video of that too but if you want to make another video of that and share it to this group let me know in the comment box below okay so that's what i do now in certain structures you might find um this okay like this one here in the structure this way it got broken okay so sometimes you might wonder will it use this to reverse or is it going to use this or is it going to use the extra one these are the challenges we encounter in the market sometimes so what i do is that i pull out my tool this is my customized um what do you call it fib to okay fibonacci to so what i do most of the times i just pull it out and then drag it to i want to get the 50 percent level okay so i drag it to um the point where okay and drag it to the last point um where the uh 
trend got to be for reversing okay so i want price to get to the 50 level as it is here i want price to get to the 50 level which i call my entry so anywhere from the 50 level up is my entry point right that's where i'm going to find my entry point okay so this is what they call p d array this is what ict call p d array so if you want me to make a full video on how to use the pd array strategy let me know also in the comment box below okay so once i do this i want to see price going the one price going i want to see um a reaction candlestick reaction but before that um i want to see candlestick reaction here and i see the candlestick reaction probably an engulfing pattern of this nature this time since this is um, a bearish market i want to see bearish engulfing pattern something like this then once i see that um the next thing i want to do is to scale down to my lower time frame basically i expect to see a change of character with this all right i expect to change, see a change of character with this sometimes you might not see this you end up seeing something like this this something like this and uh okay sorry let me do something like this and um, this yeah something like this a pin bar maybe i didn't get it correctly i'm talking about a pin bar something like this oh my goodness a an inverse summer a pin bar stuff like this anything like this you you understand what i'm talking about this so a rejection to the downside candle showing rejection to the downside when i see this um i want to go to the lower time frame sometimes it might have a follow-up candle like this is a bullish one and then another one like this is a bearish candle so this is what we call um star candle this is a star candle right this is a star candle we call it um evening star right so something i want to see this any of this is good for me you can see this it's full setup or only this or this all right when i see any of these i'm good to go so I just get to lower time frame when i go to lower time frame what i'm possibly going to see is something of this nature i love to see something of this nature okay so this here is a break of structure price breaks below this um level here which is a change of character now so probably we are going to have um an order block somewhere here okay somewhere here we're going to have an order block there so i want to I see price pull back into it okay and then also give me that change of character within the lower time frame and then i take my entry then i see price dropping like this okay so that's it i see price dropping like this okay so that's how we make money for the market so um let me show you basically this is what i saw um on the 30 minutes time frame on this first trade so price was on a down trend and then has broken out of structure and then has tested um to, has gone back to the 50 level and then um after that i saw another break of structure right it's another break of structure so i caught this one so i also brought my feet to here okay so remember we got the break of structure and then this is the, the um this is the level where it got to before retracing and then as you can see it has gotten into sorry it has gotten into my 50 percent level right so which is my entry level that's what i call it so by the time i saw these guys price had already left this level and started going down okay so that's giving me you can see the candlestick patterns here okay let me just zoom in let me zoom in let me zoom it you can see the candlestick pattern here so if i scale to lower time frame basically you are going to be seeing um, a change of character down here you're going to be seeing a change of character down here okay so you can see price go there and then also drops down so i have a kind of stack handle but this is an inside bar here now so okay so part of my strategy uh, my um confluences have been met so again price went back there and dropped again so when I saw this, um, price actually went there again.
can see price went back there again because i came in a little bit late so i didn't see all these things happen okay so price reversed again went there and gave me this nice rejection you can see that nice rejection so basically when i saw this um uh, i was supposed to already enter the trade around here okay but when i saw this it was really late. so i saw this move has started so i didn't want to miss out so i quickly entered this trade here now i knew that this was the other block we are using right if okay let me let me bring this close again you can see that okay so so this was the break of structure here and this was the other block we are using so price got in there and that was above the 50 percent level so i knew that this was another block we are using so um if i'm entering here is i have to also make sure that my um, stop loss comes around this area or at least above this level right above this reversal point here because i'm catching it late and basically i was afraid of missing out which is the wrong thing in trading you don't have to fear uh, missing out so um originally this is supposed to be my right entry point right but because i came in late i saw it here and this whole confluences have been met these two conditions have been met so i felt i i might miss out okay so i quickly entered the trade here i entered the trade as you can see so price actually gave me some drawdown but something saved me what saved me was that i was able to place my stop loss at least around here all right so i also use my fib in making my entry i also use this fibonacci make my entry so as you can see this was my fibonacci level this is what we call entry you can see and then this was my first take profit as you can see here this was my first take profit and this one this was my first take profit yeah you can see it's very clear here this was my first take profit this was the second one here and this was the last one here my tp3 so and this my stop loss around here so you can see that's why it gave me some drawdown but was never to hit my stop loss and then it made my take profit very quickly so one lesson from this one lesson you should take from this is that you should avoid what we call fumo this is it in trading psychology you'll be taught this this is fear of missing out right fear of missing out all right that is what almost got me trapped here but because i knew how to set my stop loss i know what i was doing i was like i could set, set my stop loss around here you can see this is my stop loss i went to my um according to my um fibonacci too so i was able to set my stop loss here and it could not it didn't hit my stop loss that's it and then it came back and hits my three tick profits all right another thing here is that when price moves don't be among the first don't be the first to enter the trade all right when price stop uh, when price starts moving in your direction don't be the first to take the trade reason being that what price does most of the times is that it starts going in your direction and then begins to accumulate uh, what you call liquidity liquidity all right it begins to accumulate liquidity that is liquidity builder so here if you enter the trade here like me basically you might want to put a stop loss above these highs here forgetting that this high is just a build up of liquidity that's what it does so price most times will come back to take out this high okay so price most times will come back to take out these highs before the main move starts so i ignored that because i was um i was um desperate to enter and because when i entered actually when i entered the trade that's when the whole thing began to play my mind again that wow i'm supposed to allow this to play out so because of that i took my stop loss to where it was supposed to be all right taking all this into account and that was what saved me from the trade from um the trade okay so next time you're taking your trade make sure you don't um be the you don't um, allow the fear of missing out to control you you also should make sure you are not among the first persons to enter the trade okay and make sure also you allow 
um, price all these manipulations to take place that's that's actually the reason why you should not be the first person to enter that's an you to avoid all this manipulation allow the liquidity to be you know swept and then that's it okay so these are uh, the few lessons i've learned from this okay i already knew them but it's a kind of reminder that i have to take them more serious okay and i'm sharing it with you so that you don't um allow this you don't forfeit it again this is the second trade i took actually here i also share this one meanwhile this first trade i dropped it in the in the telegram group i also share it in the telegram group actually let me show you guys this is it i dropped this in the telegram group okay this is it okay this is step index i entered the trade before showing you guys you can see where the stop loss is this is it also you can see i use my fib to actually you can see it. so this the whole thing is i have proof for this so i set my tip according to the fib so tp1 is one is to one reward ratio second one is one is to two risk reward ratio the third one is one is to three risk reward ratio so, so i actually took one is to three risk reward ratio on this trade all right so i made a massive profit actually so it was a nice bargain so um, that is actually in our um telegram channel also later on i um dropped another signal right after we took that one I dropped another signal um okay I dropped another signal so let me look for it um meanwhile this you can see that these signals i dropped in the group is actually what i trade so if you have not joined the group make sure you go and join now okay so okay before then i dropped another signal a little bit it's not this one okay let me get it Okay, before then i dropped another signal this is it where i told them where i said that everyone should trade this so um buy step index apply risk management but after that i also warned them that this trade is a low probability trade you got it because it is a counter trend trade trade there is a high risk of losing this trade because it's trading we are trading against the trend so if you don't if you are if you can't stand it do what exit the trade that was what i told them then you can see we actually lost the trade we ended up losing the trade because after a while the trade went in our favor after a while but came back and hit our stop loss um the thing was that look at it this was the model the model of the trade i used my fib to actually um the risk reward ratio was this okay this was the entry let me show you this okay this was the entry here so the first entry here and this was the um yeah so this is it this is sl and then so our take profit actually using this this was our first take profit and, uh, okay yep okay so this was our first take profit as you can see here so price came very close to it but did not activate it and then this was our second take profit. We only wanted two profits. Like we only went for one is to two here. We didn't go for three. So, but price came close to our um first take profit, but didn't activate it and then it reversed and hit our stop loss and we lost the trade. That was it. Now the reason we took it was according to our rules. Let me scale down to the lower time frame so that you see clearer. Um according to our rules, this look at it. Okay. So price was breaking structure to the um to the upside as you can see price was breaking structure to the upside this is it as you can see and then this was it so price has broken structure to the upside and then we need to take this trade so before then you can see price came back and tested this level and then gave all this bullish momentum here so i felt it was beginning to buy so i took the first entry here and second entry here so um price actually pulled back gave us some drawdown they started going back again to our direction but forming a double top here i wasn't i didn't actually uh take notice of this on time forming a double top here this becomes a sign that if price should this becomes a sign of liquidity right this is a, a kind of because double top actually is a reversal pattern all right 
is a reversal pattern so most of the time when you see a double top like this it's just a sign that price is liquidity is building up here so what you want to do as soon as you see price go above it come back immediately you want to if you are in a buy position you want to exit that buy position and take a sell position because it's assumed that price has swept the liquidity here and most of the time it sweeps it into another block so i don't know let's just check whether it swept it into another block let's go to one hour time frame uh okay let's go to 30 minutes where we, where we see it properly yeah this where is it where is it where is it yeah this was it here this was it so sorry this was it and you can see price actually swept this let's see this is it here price swept it here into another block you can see price swept it into another block into this other block you can see that so most time once you see this this is a special strategy and i use it most of the time so if you want me to actually make a full video how it works also let me know in the comment box below so this is it once price sweeps it and enters this other block and then drops immediately back immediately um if you are in any buy position just close it and take a sell position because price is most likely going to sell okay so i wasn't actually at hand because of some engagements so price came back hit my take profit i mean hit my stop loss actually and we lost that trade that's it so basically the lesson from this one is counter trading counter trend trading is dangerous avoid it all right but even if you are going to trade it make sure you take it on time as you can see if i have taken that trade around this area around this area i would have at least won the trade but because price has already gone far to this point this is considered overbought right this is considered overbought is considered overbought so i shouldn't have taken this trade that was a mistake on my own part and lesson learned okay so i'm sharing this so that you'll be able to learn these lessons also because they said a wise man learns from other people's mistake all right so you learn from your own action although they say experience is the best teacher so but when you experience this you're gonna lose your money and when you experience accidents you're gonna lose your life so sometimes it's best to learn from other people's experience okay now later on i took another trade i took another trade here and this was the trade actually but also there was also a mistake in this one i took this trade at this point now why did i take this trade like i said earlier i trade the break and retest right so after this happened price resumed in this direction all right Basically, I traded on just this step index throughout the week. So, price re resumed its direction, gave me a change of character like this. So, I wanted it to go to this other block. So, price went to this other block. All right. And it's, as it went there the first time, red dropping. Just here. You can see we had price reverse here, reverse here, reverse here. It went again, retesting the same other block. So, this, we saw something like this here also you can see this is what they call um um what they call it again i forgot the name they call this one but whenever i see this setup my goodness me if you actually if you actually scale down the lower time frame discover this is a head a head and shoulder pattern right this is actually head and shoulder pattern so when, when i saw this actually i wasn't around when this thing happened so by the time i came i saw it has broken this neckline so i took this as a neckline so it went and tested this and started dropping so i actually made my entry here i took a sell position actually and it was around this very spot right you can see so my first take profit was here using my fib2 also i normally use my fib2 like i told you guys I normally use my fib2 so i um actually use my fib2 here as you can see oh push it so this was my entry here as you can see and um this was my stop loss so this is it yeah so my tp1 was exactly at this spot you can see this was my first take profit exactly as I did, exactly at this spot that's where my first take profit was so price came and actually hit my take profit 
the first one. Now, remember, as a break and retest trader, what I normally target is the next key level, which is here. When, right, um, um, and most times I make sure that my one is to two ratio ratio or one is to three is within this key level. So this was it, and price hit it, but the remaining trades were below it. So uh, actually, I felt that since this was a downtrend and this is a resumption of the trend after a retracement, I felt price should go down, give me um, a kind of lower low, right? I felt price should go down and give me a lower low. I didn't know it was going to spend much time trending like this. So giving me a lower low means it had to break this, right? It means it had to break this low. Before it breaks it, it has to hit my take profit here. So that was actually my thinking. And if it's giving a lower low, that means to break this low and then hit my third take profit. That was my thinking actually. So I wanted to aim high. <laughs> so but what happened is that I forgot to take cognizance of this liquidity build up here. Okay. So let's just let me let me increase it again. Let me zoom in again. Okay. So um actually I didn't take cognizance. I didn't take into account this liquidity build up here. You can see this basically is a liquidity, a liquidity build up. So when you see this, just know that when price comes here, most of the times it reverses and goes to take out this the next liquidity here before dropping. Okay, but I didn't take that into cognizance, right? And then once price came, you can see what happened. It just took out this liquidity and reversed immediately with speed went smashed my um, stop loss i was it was this <laughs> oh my goodness man this was mad man it took out my stop loss so i gained one and i lost two which means um this one this very trade this one cancelled out this one and what i lost was actually this one so i lost one okay i lost one Okay, so that was it. And then the lesson I learned in, in this one is that because we have seen a change of character and because we have seen price realigned with the downtrend, that doesn't mean you should jump in immediately. It shouldn't happen immediately. Don't just conclude that price is going to keep swearing down. And look at this. If you look at this, this is also double um, top, right? A kind of double top. Which is also a build up on liquidity. So price most likely will come to take this liquidity here into an other block. As you can see, this is it. Price most likely will come to raise this liquidity. It is when you see this liquidity taken. Once you see that this liquidity has been taken, that is when you should hit it hard. That is when it is most likely going to hit your take profit. So guys, I actually failed to take this into cognizance because. Recently, um, I just started developing this liquidity um, strategy recently. I just learned it recently and then started adding it up to my break and retail strategy to, you know, optimize it. I'm just trying to optimize my break and retail strategy. And this is very interesting, guys, because it works, guys. This is very interesting. Um, like, I'm making more success. Mixing up the break and retail strategy with liquidity um, strategy. Okay, so mixing it up, like I'm beginning to, I'm catching the market with a clearer view, in a better perspective, and like I'm understanding almost everything going on in the market. So it's nice. Just follow me, guys. The way I trade this, and I'm gonna be sharing my progress with you guys. Like this week ended well. Forget about these losses. The losses were small compared to the profit. So let's continue. So I learned that for the fact we have seen price going uh, realign with the direction doesn't mean it will go immediately. You have to look out for liquidity feed-ups so that you will not be trapped. Okay, so that's one thing I learned. And your risk management is key. So um, I manage my risk well, and that's why I I was able to you know still be in profit after all these losses so that's it now the last trade let me go to last trade is this with my knowledge of liquidity 
as soon as I saw this tray go back to hit my stop loss, I quickly I asked myself what happened? How did it take my stop loss? Wow. Ah, price has realigned with my um with the real with the main um what do you call it? Price has realigned with the other flow. How come it now went and hit my um stop loss? Then I discovered that this was a liquidity build up here. We had this liquidity um buy side liquidity here. So and I saw that price has swept this liquidity into this other block here, to this supply level here. So um then at lower time frame, I saw how it reversed immediately into let's go to the 15 minutes time frame. Okay, or maybe the five minutes time frame. Good, this is it. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, wow, let me zoom in. Okay, so price have entered into that liquidity zone, has swept that liquidity zone, and before sweeping it, it created some highs again here. You can see them, which was under liquidity. So price swept it into the supply level. So I was I was sad that I lost this position. But I was also excited because something has happened. Wow. <laughs> so I was also excited that something has happened and I can identify it. So quickly I saw price break below here and then I hopped in immediately. I took two trades. Like I used a good loss size within this level. So I quickly went back, placed my stop loss, like I went I went back and placed my stop loss above. Let's find out how I place my stop loss. Alright. So I entered the trade immediately here and immediately it started dropping. Like it started crashing massively. So I placed my first take profit here. The reason I placed my first take profit here was let's let's zoom in so we can see. The reason I placed my first take profit there was that you can see this is another block here. Okay, so I don't know. Price might decide to use this other block. Price might decide to use it. Okay. So I place my first take profit here, and then I use. I place my. I actually trade after this take pro, first take profit was taken out. I actually trade the stop. Okay. So I place my last take profit here below, just below here. So even if price wants to. Um, reverse after this one, I would have been out. So you can see, price just came, smashed this, smashed this, and still went below. Okay, so that was exactly how I took those trades. And guys, it was a, it was an amazing experience. I've learned a lot this week, and I'm sure this new week we are entering today is Sunday actually. So the new week we are entering is going to be a lot more better than the previous because. I have learned all these things like I have written some things in my journal, written certain things I must follow when trading. So basically only one of these um, profits, in fact only this one self, only one of these um, profits, this very one which was the first tra trade for the week, only one of it was enough to cancel out all these losses. You, you understand this? So enough to cancel out all these losses. And then the rest will be profit for me. That, that's just how it um, went for the week. And I learned a lot. And I believe you have learned a lot also. So if you gain value from this video, smash the like button. And if you are new, please subscribe to this channel. And turn on the post notification bell. And drop a nice comment in the comment box below. Okay? If you have anything I mentioned that you want me to teach, you want me to make a video on, drop it in the comment box. And also join our Telegram channel because I, like, basically I dropped these signals like I posted all these stuffs in the channel and we traded it we made money with it okay we traded them and made money with them so um if you want to be a part of this just join the community okay just join the community and make money with us free of charge okay so um that's just it basically we handle also mentorship programs and we are starting our December mentorship program. If you are interested, you want to learn how to um, approach the market the right way on Telegram. 
just let me know okay and i will take my time and guide you as you can see this was another trade i planned out but i, I wasn't able to enter this trade actually i also planned it out because price has taken out this and there's a liquidity level here so i believed that when price comes here this other block will be respected okay so price got there it respected it when i went down to lower time frame i saw this um but actually i wasn't trading i just wanted to apply the ones i have learned so on my lower time frame i saw this this was it um look at it and i placed my trend line i also got a trend line liquidity here i also got a change of character here man this was a lot of confidence we met after that price also came back here to retest this level which was also a sweep of liquidity so a lot of conditions met i should have also taken this trade and my target was somewhere here but i wasn't trading actually so i just wanted to be sure that some of these, these things i learned is working <laughs> you, you understand i need to know that this is working so that by the time i'm commencing my trading next week i would be a lot more confident so make sure you join this our telegram because it's going to be fire like it's going to be fire this coming week and we are going to be making a lot of profit believe me we are going to be making a lot of profit and not joining our telegram community we may we amount to missing out a lot okay so that's just it guys that's just it and i still remember my humble self david green olive the confluence trader i trade my confluence okay thank you guys and remember it can only get better as long as you continue learning i believe it can only get better bye